Hi guys, tonight I'm going to share with you a process video for Project Life. Here are the cards that I chose. They are from Gossamer Blue and Scraptastic. We have a little visitor in the top right hand corner. That's my kitten Bella. And here are the pictures that I pre-printed on my Canon selfie. I just figured it would be much easier if the pictures were pre-printed and ready to go. So let's start this. The top left hand corner card is going to be first. I'll place that down on my mat and I will zoom in so you can take a better look. And I'm going to start with this collage picture of Bella. It was her first time outside and I was really excited about it so I wanted to document it. And I want to place a card behind the collage and I like this one here that says hello. I just think it looks really cute so I'm going to stay with that. And then I want to add something else to it so I'm going to pull out my cut aparts and I store them in this iris container from Michaels. And I'm just looking for something to put on the side of the photos. And I find this really cute cut apart from Scraptastic. It's by Ormolu and it says date and it's bright red and I like that. And I'm just going to take my Tim Holtz scissors and cut it down. There was just too much white on the side for me, so I just ended up really trimming it down a lot. And now it fits perfect, and I love the way it pops against such a busy background. And I'm going to take out some of my cork pieces and wood veneer, and I'm looking for a wood veneer that's going to go in the center of the collage, but I want something that's really going to stand out. So I picked this one that says love because it's a really light wood, and it looks really great against the dark background. I think it's just perfect. And I'm going to pull out my plus glue tape runner. This is my tape runner of choice for Project Life. It's just so easy and convenient to use. And yes, I am going to turn this upside down to line it up. I don't know why. It's just this crazy thing that I do, but it works. And then I'm going to add the collage. I'm also going to add that little cut apart piece that says date, and I will eventually handwrite the date on that. I'm going to pull out my Tombow Mono Multi Adhesive to put down my wood veneer. This is my adhesive of choice for all my wood veneers. And I love how that looks. Okay, I'm going to pull out my Zig Millennium Pen and handwrite in the date. And I'm also going to go to my stash and pull out some sequins. I wanted to add sequins to this. I know the background is quite busy, but I just figured that it'd be fun to add a little extra with the sequence, and I really do like the final result once I did add them. Now I'm going to use my Tombow glue again and my precision tweezers to put this down. This is my preferred choice or way of putting down sequence. It's really simple and easy. You don't need any special tools to do it. I know a lot of people use that uh, stick or quick stick and it's just too much of a hassle for me. I like it quicker with tweezers and my fingers. And that is the final card. I'm going to add that to my pocket and we're going to move on to the next card. Okay, I'm going to pull this card out next. It has the pink stripe across the top and I'm going to go back to my pictures and I'm going to put these pictures down of my pond before and after. We cleaned it up and did a lot of work to it. I'm going to go back to my cut aparts and I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for here. I figured it'll just kind of jump out at me when I find the right thing. And I find this little piece, it is also from a Scraptastic kit, and it's from Ormolu. It has all these cute little words all over it, and I just thought that looked perfect. And I'm going to go to my stash and pull out two flare buttons that are just perfect for a before and after picture. One says this is uh, then and this is now, so it's perfect. I wanted to back the pictures, but that card was a little too busy, so I picked this orange one instead. I really like it. Now this is going to be a tight squeeze to get everything on here, but I am going to make it work. Usually when I find something that works like this, I just work on it until it all goes together the way I want. And I'm just going to adhere down that card, and again I'm going to do it upside down because it's craziness my crazy method of getting things on and I do have to readjust it because a lot of times I find it difficult to line things up when I am recording and I finally do get it the right way. Okay now I'm going to put down these pictures and I realize that the corners are in the way so I take out my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper and I'm using the 1 4th inch setting and I'm just removing the corners on the picture I figure it will help it fit better 
in this little layout that I'm trying here. And I do like the way that's coming out. So I'm going to adhere these down, both the left side and the right side. And then I'm going to take that ormolu cut apart that I had earlier, and I'm going to place those down next. And I do have to move that picture on the left just up slightly because there wasn't enough space for the cut apart. And now the spacing feels right, so I'm going to adhere everything down. And I was originally going to put this back in the pocket to move on, but then I realized that I wanted to check some of those really cutesy words off before I did that. So I take out my pen, and on the right I check off yippee, and on the left I check off love. And then I'm going to put those flare buttons on, but if you guys watch my past videos, you know that I attach my flare buttons on the outside of the pockets. I, for me, it just works better because it makes it so the pockets don't split. The seams have a tendency to split on these pockets really easily if you put a lot of pressure against them. So I always put mine on the outside of the page protector, and that is done. We're going to move on to the next card. Okay, I'm going to pull out this card next, and this one's really cute. I'm going to pull out my pictures again, and I decide on this pink hibiscus plant, and I am so glad my plant finally bloomed. It only took three years, but it bloomed. So I'm just cutting down the picture so that it fits, and I was really, really excited. Like I said, I planted this plant three years ago, and I have yet to see a flower until this past spring. It was just like, wow, I couldn't believe it. So I'm just using my tiny attacher to attach the photo. I like doing this on three by four cards. I think it gives it a lot of interest and a lot of texture when you just have one picture covering the whole card like that. And then I'm pulling out these DIY stickers from uh, Snap from Simple Stories. I love these, and I love that they're on clear acetate so you can line them up over the picture to see what it's going to look like when you stick it down and I finally find one that says hello there and I kind of felt like the flowers were saying that to me like after three years they were like hello there we've decided to come out this year <laughs> so I was really excited about that I like the way that looks and then I'm going to also add on some um enamel dots and I want to do them in the green because I want to emphasize this, uh, the color of the leaves and I'm going to call this card done. It's really simple and easy and then the next one I'm going to do is my journaling. I'm just going to pull that out and I'm going to pull out my Millennium Zig Pen again in the size 08 and I'm going to journal and basically my journaling is just explaining how Bella had such a great time outside and how she really enjoyed the garden and the flowers and she even drank out of my little fountain, which I thought was so cute. And then I'm going to pull these uh, stickers out, and these are from Simple Stories as well. And I wanted to use that little heart in the middle of the faux washi tape to make it stand out a little bit. And I go over to my wood veneer stash, and I pull out this cute little kitten wood veneer. And since the journaling was about Bella, I wanted to use that. And I'm just going to put down a little bit of my glue and use my tweezers to place that. And that journaling card is done. And we're going to move on to the next card. This card here says, hey there. And I wasn't sure what picture to put there. And I had paper. Uh, printed this picture of Maxwell and a really weird shape and size and originally I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it but I can't believe how perfectly it fit on this card and every time we go outside and I walk Bella he comes out and watches it's like he protects her he's so cute so I pulled out this tab from Scraptastic and I love these tabs you guys know that I use them on every single one of my layouts and I'm just going to adhere down this picture of Maxwell it's a little too long so I'm just going to snip it on the right and then I'm going to add that uh, Scraptastic tab. I just wanted to give the photo some interest and I'm going to use my tiny attacher here as well since I used it earlier in the spread I like to duplicate anything that I use gives it a little bit more interest and then I went over to my wood veneers and cork pieces originally I was going to use this cork star but it just seemed too big for that tab so I decided against that and I went with these rhinestones instead and I just put a simple little blue rhinestone in the center of the tab and I'm going to call that card done it's very simple but I didn't want to get too crazy on it and we're going to move on to the next card now this is my other hibiscus plant 
the white one versus the pink, and it also bloomed this year after three years. So there was no way I wasn't going to document that as well. And I'm just at my wood veneer stash again, and I'm looking for a wood veneer for the top left corner. And I find this one that says the sweetest thing, and it sure was the sweetest thing when I saw those flowers. They were huge. They were like the size of dinner plates, and they just bloomed all spring and all into the summer. I just couldn't believe it. I got so many flowers this year. And I'm just attaching that wood veneer to the top left corner. Now I want to add something to the top right, so I pull out this stamp set from Scraptastic. I hadn't done any stamping yet, so you know me, I had to do some stamping. And I'm just trying to decide on what to put on the top right corner. And I decide on the block lettering up there that says awesome. It's a little hard to see the stamp, but once I stamp it out, you'll be able to see it better. And I'm just laying it down on my mat to line it up and putting it on my clear block. I'm going to stamp it out with Versamark ink, which is a sticky ink, so that the embossing powder can stick to it. And I didn't use my static tool, so when I add my embossing powder here, it kind of gets a little tiny bit messy, but it's no big deal because I just take a little fine brush, and you'll see me do that next. And I'm just going to brush away any of the embossing powder that's stuck to areas I didn't want it to. And then I'm just going to funnel the remainder of my embossing powder back into the container. And I'm going to take out my Ranger Heat It gun and I'm just going to heat up that embossing powder and look at how cool this came out. It is so shiny. I love it. And it says awesome. And I want to add something else, so I take out this little wood veneer that's a push pin. It's so super adorable. Now, I do put too much glue down there, but I just take it off camera here, and I wipe it off, and I leave it sticky enough so that when I put the little wood veneer back on, it stays. And I think that's really cute. I'm going to call this card done and move on really happy with the outcome of that card and now we're going to work on this card on the bottom left I had the idea of to do a collage at first I was going to put pictures in it and then I figured that would just drive me crazy so I'm just going to put little bits and pieces and make like a random collage of bits and I'm just using my cork and my wood veneers and I'm kind of just going through things deciding on what I'm going to use I want to definitely use that flare button because the colors are right I'm going to use that wood veneer that's the at sign and the cork star. And then I found this cutout that says July. It's perfect. I'm going to use that as well because it is the month of July for this spread. And then I'm just kind of going through. I want to put a tag on the right, but that one just blended too much with the yellow. So I find this red one instead, and I like the way that works. I think the two colors work really well together. And I need to fill that center box in. And I find this cut apart from Scraptastic, the one with the watercolor dots. I really love that. And I'm going to place that in the center piece. I'm going to kind of make it fit. And I love the way this is coming together. It came out a lot better than I thought it would. And I'm still looking for more things. I want to add as many as I can. And I find a little triangle piece that I'm going to put in the top right hand corner. I like that so that's going to stay as well. And then I need one more piece and I'm not sure what I'm going to use so I kind of just flip around more of my pieces. And then here I decide to switch that tag out. I like the one that says summertime a lot better. And then I think I'm going to add one more piece. And it's going to be this um, little tag that's pink. And I'm going to kind of haphazardly place it there. And I love the way this looks. So I'm going to start adhering everything down. And I'm going to use my precision tweezers again. It's just so easy for me to place things the way I want. And that is the final outcome of the card with everything adhered down. And I love it. So we're going to call that done. And I am going to add the flare button, but like I did earlier, I'm going to add it on the outside of the page protector. And it looks so, so cute. Love how that came out. Okay, this is the final card. And here I want to stamp something in that little white 
box, so I did that details stamp. I used the Versamark ink again, and now I'm using my embossing powder in silver. That's from Ranger. It's the super fine detailed silver embossing powder, the same one I used earlier. And I'm going to take out my heat gun and I'm going to heat it up. I am totally addicted to embossing powder. I can't help it. It just looks so awesome. I love the final outcome on how it comes out in the cards in Project Life. And look at how shiny and cool that looks. It's just the perfect detail. And then here is a picture of a part of a flower bed that we fixed up as well. My husband did this for me and I'm so glad that he did. I've waited so long for this little part of my... A garden to be fixed and the left is the before and the right is the after and then I have these snap stickers from simple stories and it says this is the good stuff and it sure is when something gets completed like that so I love that I added that there and now this is where it gets a little interesting <laughs> I take out this stamp and it's little polka dotted dots in a circle. I stamp it with my Versamark and I heat emboss it with my silver embossing powder. I did like the way that came out. And then I take this other Scraptastic stamp set that says Super with a star and I'm going to use black ink to stamp it and I hate the way it came out. It's crooked. It looks kind of off. Uh, it's not what I wanted. So I redid it with clear embossing powder and silver embossing powder on this teal cardstock and it's so much nicer. So I'm going to put that there. A lot of times when I correct problems or mistakes that I make, I always like the final outcome way better than the mistake that I made. So I'm kind of glad it came out crooked. And I'm going to add that right there. And I just love the way the color pops against the white. And I'm really happy with the way that came out. So that is the last card, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Now, on the left there, I added letters that said first time. That was the only change I made. But if you guys like this video, please thumbs up. And I will do more process videos. I do enjoy doing them. So this was really fun. I hope you guys like this. Thank you so much for visiting. And please leave comments. I like to hear what you guys have to say, and especially if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.